welcome to yet another episode of Yet Another Beer Show. I'm JT. I'm Steve. And today we are doing a personal favorite of mine. Um, I used to live in San Diego and used to visit uh, a place called Pizza Ports. Um, it's a obviously pizza and uh, it's a, it also it's a pizza restaurant and it works with Port Brewing Company out of San Diego. Okay. And I believe the the restaurants are actually owned by the brewery. Anyway, great pizza, great beer. Uh, the best combination I've ever found for beer and pizza was at this place. So this one is actually called the Shark Attack Double Red Ale. Um, the pizza that I used, used to enjoy it with was actually, get this, a barbecue chicken, bacon, and pineapple pizza. Oh, that sounds delicious, actually. It, it, is, it is delicious. Everyone who does not like pineapple on pizza, when they try this, they're always like, wow, this is the best combination ever. Bacon and pineapple actually goes really well together. Well, it's bacon. I mean, bacon goes well. <laughs> no, with but the, the, the tartness and the saltiness, yeah. it's that whole sweet and sour thing. Yes. Um, you get that the, the savory of the bacon, the sweet of the pineapple, plus a little tart. It, it, it works really well. Yeah, so. <laughs> so, so anyway, it's, it's been about two years since I've had this beer, and I just had that feeling of nostalgia when I found it in uh, the beer store. And I wanted to share it with everyone out there. So, let's, uh, let's just get into this. Ah, there we go. So, what, uh, what's the percentage on it? And uh, oh yeah, so this is okay. So this is Shark Attack Double Red Ale from Port Brewing Company in San Diego, and the percentage is nine percent by volume. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I, uh, Steve, and I tend to find the higher alcohol content beers, and I don't know if that's just a coastal thing. Uh, because when you know we see Colin and Casey and Chris, you know they find these lighter beers, and I, I don't know if that's the East Coast West Coast battle, but uh, here's nine percent, guys. Uh, Didn't Colin uh, mention something about that as well? Like, oh yes, that we consistently rate the higher, higher uh, alcohol, alcohol content beers. beers. Yes, that is true. But it's worth it. Uh, you know, it, it, it's just that you find a variety of beers uh, depending on region. Um, it's not necessarily that you find those ingredients in those regions, but it's usually the you know particular favorable style uh, depending on weather. You know, this port brewing is usually associated with like you know the surfing culture in uh, San Diego. You know, if you <clears throat> if we were uh, uh, kind of, you know reviewing beers solely for alcohol and it wasn't great flavored beers, then that, that would probably be a problem, but we're not t trading off alcohol content for taste. Yeah. These are great tasting beers, and yes, some of them you can still, you know, you can taste the alcohol, but they're all, you know, for the most part, the beers that we've reviewed have been phenomenal. Yes. So, um... Here's the new beer right here. Yeah, absolutely. So even though this is, yeah, very crisp, nice, like solid hoppy flavor. Very. Um, so even though this is like a, a red ale, um, just uh, just to explain, it does pour out a nice sort of like copper amber color. Yeah. Um, and I have no idea if that uh, if that's part of the procedure because it is a double uh, double red ale, but uh, it doesn't matter. It is a delicious beer, yeah. and it is one of those things I found that. You know, besides the obvious, it does complement like sort of like the greasy bar food really well. Yeah, this is this is really nice. You know, some red ales have that sour flavor, mm -hmm. and this doesn't have that at all. This is, it's definitely got that red hue to it, but it doesn't it doesn't have that sour flavor that that's kind of characteristic of a lot of red, red ales yeah. that I've tried. It, it's like, it's almost like. Like an IPA with a little bit of red mixed in. Yeah, it does have that hoppiness of an IPA. Yeah, it's. Uh, but I, I can't place the smell as an IPA. Like if I was to smell this, oh. I would not be like, "This is an IPA," or "This is a double IPA." It, it, it. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It doesn't have the IPA. I mean, it does have a hoppy smell, but not yeah. like an IPA does. The yeah. IPA, you can almost taste. Like you can smell the bitterness. Bit yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Whereas this smells like a red, but it doesn't have it doesn't have the sourness. It's got I I don't know what the 
So as I said, it goes very well with food, and we've actually come a little prepared with uh, some salty snacks. So I'm just gonna <laughs> mouthful here on compliment. Uh, some food. Compliment your beer? No. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's very drinkable too. It's not too heavy, even though it's. I mean, it's pretty opaque. It's pretty thick to the point that I can't see through it, but it doesn't taste thick. It mm -hmm. doesn't. You know, it goes down really nice. Yeah, as as I said, it, it has it has that crisp flavor to it, which it doesn't feel heavy on the tongue. There's no strong aftertaste that you where you're also like sometimes feeling like bloated because of the flavor. I mean, there are some beers I've had where. It's great that it feels warm going down and everything, but you're like, I can only sip this, you know, once every five minutes. <laughs> like a lot of the holiday beers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is nice. You could, you know, you could go to a bar and drink this, you know, for a couple hours if you wanted to. And have. Yeah, it, this is, it's nice. Absolutely. So. Well, I'm glad I could share this with you. This um, was good. Thank you. Uh, Port Brewing has a lot of great, interesting beers, too. I recommend all of them. Personally, uh, I found, sorry, I, I used to refer to this as Shark Bite Red. I believe that's what they used to call it, but now they call it Shark Attack uh, Red Ale. Uh, I don't know what the name changed, or maybe I just had it wrong at one point. Uh, personal favorite, please give it a try if you find it. Um, so that's yeah. Steve. That's JT. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Smiles back. Oh. <laughs> they never show actually anyone eating the goldfish. That was supposed to always them like being animated and everything along that line. They never show anybody eating the goldfish? No, no. I've never noticed that. I'd have to YouTube some goldfish commercials later. <gasps>